Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we're going to play with an ATC card. Um, and I have this quote that I found. Um, it was in an email that I had gotten from a company or something. And I thought, wow, it's a really, it's a really cool quote. And it is, a roadblock is not the end. It's a detour to a better route. So I wanted to share that with you guys today. And I wrote it on this and I thought, well, I'll just leave it on there and I will do a ATC background or an ATC on it. Um, I wanted to, this is a piece of resin that I did, uh, I think last week or the week before where I put it on a stamp and it's like all textured on the back. It's smooth, obviously where I poured, but, uh, I don't know how well you can see it. Can you see all the texture? It came out really cute. So I was like, oh, this would be a great, uh, background or great piece i just don't know how i would use it and you can see it's pretty much uh that size <laughs> for an atc if i just cut off a few little bits so i just don't even know if i'm gonna use this yet but i do have a atc an atc background that i have done many times in my videos i will link it down below and at the end of this video uh so you guys can go check it out if you did not see it very easy i I believe this was the distressed oxide one with ink pads. I'm almost positive. Uh, the colors look similar. And um, yeah, if you guys found me and you like my videos, please uh, subscribe. Leave a like. The subscribe button is down below and push the notification bell, which is next to it, which will alert you uh, when I put up new videos, which is usually four or five, six times a week, depending on how the week is going. So I get requested this quite a bit to do an ATC background. So with drawing, so let's see what we can do here. Background done. Uh, I got some writing on it. So of course I'm going to take an old friend, an old credit card. You can use a dry brush, whatever you have. And I'm going to use some white. And this is the Martha Stewart multi-surface satin and I'm only using it because it's sitting here um use whatever color you want I'm just going to do a little bit of white because I don't want to cover up all the color and all I do is I'll take half of it and get it on I don't know if, there you go and then just kind of scrape and I'm going to scrape in kind of different ways because I don't want it all on there like all covered. I do want some of this color to come through still. So I think that's all I will do, but I will take the, now if you have a piece of paper near, use that to, you know, don't waste your paint. But I think what I will do is kind of go like this. Just with some of that that's still a little wet. And you see, just gives it a little something. And I'm gonna dry it with my heat gun. Hopefully he's plugged in, he is! Just real quick. Okay. Now, again, you can use <clears throat> whatever colors, whatever you have. Now I'm going to look at this because I'm going to draw just a little face or something. I don't even know yet, but I want it to kind of be okay where I want the pencil to go. Now you can, if you just want to straight up paint right away or whatever, but do something cute, you know, something you can even do a quote make the lettering real pretty, you know, over top of it. But for me, I'm going to turn it, I think this way. And to me, this kind of looks like, I love doing cats. So I'm just going to kind of do their, with a pencil, see how the body and let me do another one over here. And you see, I'm just kind of drawing like a U. 
or an open V. And these, of course, are going to be kind of full party, so they're not going to be exactly what you think a cat would look like. I'm going to give it a long neck because my cats are fat. They are fat cats. My little, the little uh, girl of Emily's, the black cats that we got when they were two weeks, uh, she's a little petite thing, but she got, she got some heft to her. Maybe do this one more. I'll make her have a little curve, maybe, and him more straight. And then come on. I'm trying to let you see when I draw it. It's very let me show you this part. See how I just I'm just going up and I'm just kind of giving the same kind of They're little devil cats. And then for her, I'll make her face, even though we're not going to know the difference of who's who, honestly, when they're done. But I think I'm going to do her head like an oval. Like that, and then put ears on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. And then the tail probably won't draw the tail. I'll probably just paint it, but I'll do hers. I'm going to kind of bring it up and around like that. And I don't know his yet. I'll wait and see. <laughs> I'll wait and see when I get there. Okay. So I'm going to take some black paint. All I have sitting here is a basics paint. And that's okay. This is a uh, basics in permanent water resistant, flexible and dry Mars black. And I'm going to lay that there and I'm going to set that there. I'm going to take, do I have my brushes here? Maybe I'll just take this little one here because this is little. And if I use a bigger brush, we all know what happens. And I'm going to keep this the same uh, consistency. I'm not going to necessarily wet my brush because I want it kind of um, opaque and thick. I'm having a hard time seeing it today. Lord. So I'm just going to go in and look, you can use your Crayola watercolors. You can use your Crayola markers. You can use your Crayola um, watercolor pencils, colored pencils, the watercolor uh, paint, the, what else do they have? Anything, markers, uh, anything that you have sitting around the house, anything that you might have that's rose art or golden or Liquitex or plaid or folk art or uh, geez, I can name a million different, uh, brands. Use whatever you have. It doesn't have to be paint. It can be markers, color pencils. It doesn't matter. Just paint and you don't have to do them black. You can do them whatever color you want. It does not matter. And I'm going to try to cover the pencil lines if I can. And like I said, smaller brush for me works, but, um, and it has to do with my hand and eye coordination, um, and all that kind of stuff. And cause it's a little space, but you do you use what you want. I'm going to just go in and put some ears and we can go back and judge and do all the, you know, oh, this needs to be a little, you know, whatever. But let's just get these put in. And I'm just going to see how I'm doing the tail. Ours has a little fluffier than this, but there we go. Like I said, I can clean up any thing that I want at the end. Again, I did not wet my brush. Now, part of the reason I've not wet my brush is because I'm using the same color. Um, and I don't need to like change for different colors. Now, like I see this ear, this ear is smaller, this ear is bigger. I don't care if you have been with me, you guys know, I love doing odd. I call them my odd girls or I'll do the odd animals. I'm not really trying to make these ones odd, but 
you know, it is what it is. Okay, so let's go in for the bigger one. It really doesn't matter. I don't even know why I'm assigned, uh, assigning genders and, and size, but I am. And like I said, I know this, I wanted it to be. A little rounder. I wanted this to be straight. My hands aren't gonna. My hands are like, yeah, right, Kel. We're not gonna let you paint straight. And you see how black. Now listen, you can do that with a marker. I have been known to do art journal pages and whatnot and ATT cards with markers. And you can make their ears a little floppy or whatever. The whole thing is I'm doing the black cats. And like I said, I have two black cats. So for me, I know some people hate black cats. We love them. You know, for me, it is what it is. Like I said, that little funny, funky ear. I can always take, like I said, a marker to really or even a smaller brush to really make those points. But you know, whatever. Not gonna worry about too much cause we're having fun. Maybe he needs a little bit more of a neck where I drew it. Okay. I might even go in with my black marker, honestly. And if you see any spots that you kinda wanna go over or deepen by all means. Now I can't decide whether these cats are gonna be looking at me or they're gonna be looking we're just looking at the back of them. <laughs> Don't know. All right. And then this tail. I'm going to like give it a little pizzazz. Make it have a little. A little pizzazz. Now I'm going to lay this here. I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to blow the dry real quick. Heat dry it. Um, use your hair dryer. If you have a hair dryer, if you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, I would say go to your local uh, Goodwill or thrift store. They have them for a couple bucks. Or the coat paint dries so fast, just leave it dry for a minute. It's no harm. No harm in it at all. Okay, so... Let me see if I, now I'm going to need a little water. I don't want these to dry out on me and I want it to glide a little bit better, almost ink like so, or you could use ink, use whatever you have. I might even need a little smaller. I like going like this and rolling it so it gets it kind of to a point. I mean, this is a crap brush i mean you can tell this brush has been through it <laughs> that's what i do to my brushes with uh mixed media i'm just gonna kind of see if i can i was gonna put like little bites in the ears but i changed my mind like a little creepy but i don't know i don't want them creepy do that again and anything that sticks out maybe like you're like oh i went outside the lines oh i did this did that you know what they're fuzzy we can make texture and make them look like the little fuzzies you know their little hair sticking it's all right and i'm just kind of tracing on the outside if i see you know that i want to do anything fix anything I mean, they look like cats. That's the whole point, right? It's about having fun. My, I don't know. My dog's making noises over there. I have no idea what the heck he's doing today. He's very needy today. Now I have a little stray hair that sticks from this brush. I really need to cut it. I really need to throw the brush away. Let's face it. If 
But to me, it's like, for this kind of thing, it's still paint. <laughs> you know? But I should cut that little hair away because it's giving me a little bit of problems. So if that ever happens to you, just cut it and move on. <laughs> now they're not sticking out. I should have done it before I made that mistake, but... My, you can see my black caps were up here. Come on. Where is that even coming from? I have no idea. Right. And you can go. Now, you can also clean up with gesso or your white. Like, for instance, well, let me get him everywhere now. I'll show you. Black's very hard to clean up uh, because it does smear everywhere. But... Now I'm going to rinse my brush, right? And I will take it and I will dry it. Do it one more time. To make sure. And then make sure you dry up here because I can't tell you how many times, and I know I'm not the only one. You rinse your brush, you go dip into your other color, you go to paint and what happens? the water from up here that you forgot to wipe off drip 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 and you get a big old bloop of your paint oh i didn't know i had so much paint on my camera maybe i should clean that off it must have been when i was doing that one uh cinnamon's painting and i was walking it okay so you can see like you know i need to put a little bit there and i can go around just a little bit on <laughs> on there and I can go ahead and really the coat of paint's so great because you really can do a little clean up and paint over and it doesn't matter. Okay. And just make his little ear a little a little thinner or very carefully make it a little point it's magic you know all right there you go let me go up there a little bit not gonna hurt nobody there we go okay go a little bit here and And if, you know, if it's getting on your, like, blend it out. That's all. And look how cute so far. I am going to make them be front ways and look. And I just want to dry it just for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So let's. Oh, am I gonna? How am I gonna do this? I'm not very good at circles on my own. All right. I'm going into this paint. I'm gonna squish it around because there's water. I have water sitting here. Um, you don't have to. You can just leave it the way it is. But I'm gonna just kind of roll in there. And let's go for it. I just want circles and I'm not worried about all the other fancy stuff. I just want some circles for some eyes. Okay. Start smaller than you think because I always end up making them bigger. Like I just did. Okay, so now I'm going to dry this. Because I just want some more. A little bit of more. Oh, okay. All right, 
same thing. You see, I'm not wetting my brush anymore because there's plenty of wetness. My white is moist. I hate that word. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to squirt the black and the white just to keep it wet just for a few more minutes. I'm going to let that cool down for a second, but I want to add a little bit of the color back, right? I don't want uh, all of that away. So excuse my arm. A little there. Okay. So I know there's orange. I know there's green. This is cracked. I cannot read today. Pistachio. Is it? Oh, it must be just be my eyes. And I think I'm going to take, we'll do the clean part of this so I don't make it icky. So I want a little bit of the green. I'm not going to go too much, but I want, I'm just going to do this makeup sponge, which you can get these at the dollar store. You get a package of 20 or 30 or you can do them at the Walmart. And let's see. Yeah. Just want to add it a little more. And I'm okay with the white. It's just, I want to bring a little bit of that color back that is missing. Now I do have extra on here. So go and take your, I don't know. I like to have printer paper sitting around because, um, it's easy, it's cheap, it's not that big a deal to make some mixed media paper. So I will take this, and yeah, you're not getting that much, I know. But it's just starting a new page for you, you know, in your mixed media, or to rip apart at a later date. It's up to you. I don't care what you do. I know, my rhymes. All right, putting the lid on because I'll end up with that all over me. I'll put my arm in it three million times. Gonna do the same thing. This is squeezed orange, right? Yeah. No, spiced marmalade. I'm a liar. Okay. So I know it's gonna be hard to cover down here. So I know I'm going over it. I'm gonna roll it like that so it's not as big and just kind of a little dabble, do ya? And a little bit down here, a little bit. Okay. You see how just some of that it just warms it up. Like I said, you don't have to, but I like, and I like the white. I like the contrast, but I kind of, I kind of like that too. So maybe we'll stop there. Who knows? Maybe I'll do one more color. Let's see, excuse the arm. Oh, I don't want a poopy color though. Now these are my browns. I don't want my browns. I don't want that. No, I don't want to add brown because it'll. It will be poopay. Okay, so we'll just leave that right there for now. And this is what we have so far. Cute, right? I mean, it's nothing. We're not, we're not, you know, I don't know. What aren't we doing? Making the, breaking the wheel. We, oh no, remaking the wheel. So I'm going to take my end of my paintbrush and I'm going to have it go in here in the blank. And then... I'm just going to dot and dot. And if you want the dots bigger, by all means, make them bigger. I just put that back down there and do a little squiggle away. Um, and then I'll get some more. And if you press hard, you get like that. Do you know what I mean? So very good. Very good. I need to wipe, up, wipe this off because, <laughs> and now I'm going to, do I want anything else on them? Damn no. I don't think I do. I think I'm digging no mouth and everything, which I'm sure, you know, isn't the attractive, but I kind of dig it. I kind of dig the nothing on it. No nose, no nothing. Hmm. I must think for a moment to. Yeah, I think I want to let it be. I really do. Now, what I decided to do is, okay, so here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, 
which I know I didn't do the orange. Here we go. Because I am so inconsistent. I really am. Why? Why me? And then I'm just going to go like this. How are you doing? And you see, I'm just getting it little sections. And it just starts. You'll, you'll see as this keeps going, it's going to be nice. And then you have that little bit there. And I just, I'm going to, I did some resin last night. And I don't know if I can pull it back out. Let me see if I can show you what I did. So I made a set of these, which I'm going to put for, uh, I'm going to make for Emily. And I'm, I think, oh, and they're gorgeous. They're much better on paper. I know. Talk about not doing, you know, I'll save these till the end because I know people are going to be like, oh, I don't want this way. You can see the ATC and, uh, and then whoever wants to stay can see the end. So what I decided to do was take a makeup sponge. Uh, see, I got a little, got my finger in there cause I didn't dry it, but guess what? It's all right. I'll dry it and fix it when we're done here. I got some green glitter. Okay. So you can use your school glue or whatever you have, but at the moment, what I have sitting here is, and you can also, you know what? We'll do this because you guys always ask, let's do the, the glue stick like you guys. I mean, I can do both, but okay. So take your glue stick or take your Mod Podge or your white school glue or whatever you have and just kind of go on the ends just a little bit. I mean, it might even go over his tail. It's okay. And I'm just going to kind of run this. Run, 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 run. Okay. So then after you get your glue on, Get your glue on, get your glue on. I'm just going to take a piece of paper, not this paper. Uh, let's see. This paper shall do. And I'm going to take some glitter, and this is Sullen Industries glitter, non toxic. I got this from the AC Moore. It's in lime. Pretty. And I'm just going to sprinkle. And if you have a better way that you like doing this, please do it. It's going to go in my wet paints. I know it after I already started, but that's okay. Everything's fixable. Okay. All right. So then I'm going to do that for a minute. Give it a little... Now, here's the thing. It didn't go, did I not get enough? I must not have got glue on these two sides. Ooh, but I got it in the eyes, in the black, and I love it. I just have to fix that little ploop. Oh, I love it, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Oh my goodness. I love glitter, I'll have it all over me for the week. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and add. I know, it's gonna go all over that too. What are you going to do? It's called art. But if you're picky, do it whatever way you want. You know, maybe you, that's something that bothers you. Glitter on your glue. Well, there we go. Much better. Okay. So I'm just going to accept the imperfection on here. And of course, you can go, you know, and do it whatever way you want. So then what I like to do is set him aside for a minute and fold my paper and give it a tap, a tippity tap, open this. It's easier when it's a bigger thing. <laughs> Let's wait and see how much of a mess can we can make. So I'm going to take it and give it a pinch and hold it and give this a pinch because I want it to be like a fun lily thing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. The funnily thing's not working. I should probably just delete this out. 
and put it at the end as a blooper, but let's see. Because you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> I'll just go buy another thing. No, I put majority of this back in there. Okay. See, that's all that's done. Plus the little bit that's on here, which... It'll be in every project I do for the next week as well. It's in my hair, and my, even though I will shower. And hopefully Dave gets a little bit in his beard, because I love that. And then who will really be mad is if Emily's boyfriend, Sonny, or fiance, Sonny, gets it in his beard. Okay, so. Then I have Dave and Sonny walking around with glitter in their beard. Okay, so I'm just going to take a little brush paintbrush I don't know what oh here's my other one and I'm gonna brush this is dry it's not wet I'm gonna just kind of brush off the little bit that's on here and it's not the biggest deal because who doesn't like some glitter and I love that it went on their eyes but I have to fix this white so I'm just gonna go in tap it on there now I could go in with the black if I, I'm not gonna do it I this is you know I'm happy with it it's just a little ATC card that we made and there you go just two little cats and like I said you can you know you want to go ahead in and do like a little pink nose you know you can Kinda, I really didn't want to, but you know what I mean? You can do that and all that and really, you know, make it more cat-like, but I think you get the idea that it's a cat. So I'm just going to go in with my wet brush here and wet that again and take it off because I just don't want it. I'll just put that there. That's the great thing. I love acrylic paint when it's wet. You just kind of kind of go over it with some water before it's done. And then you're done. Okay. Good. All right. So yeah. So that is it for the ATC card doing on a background already done for all you guys out there who have uh, been asking because a lot of you do know how to do backgrounds and love doing the backgrounds and don't know what to put on. So this is a very easy thing. Now, like I said, you can go crazy and I could go crazy. I could take uh, glue all over the black cat and put some black glitter. Wouldn't that look cool? Or cut out fabric and, and use it instead of just painting it. Or use a, a marker or your Copic or whatever you have. Use it, even an ink pad. It doesn't matter. If you can get color off it, you can use it. That's my new motto. <laughs> so that's that. Uh, so yeah, so I hope you guys like this. And if you do, you know, anything like it or you do this or whatever, tag me. I love to see you. All my information is down below in the uh, little description down there. Please leave me a thumbs up because I do enjoy it. And... I'm going to show you guys real quick what the resin I made and I'll put it on the white for those of you who stayed. Okay. Can you see? Yeah, you can see. I mean, the glitter is like, it's like iridescent and I mean, look how cool, but I need a back on it. The clear, I mean, the clear is cool. It's very mod looking, but I don't know. I'm going to have to do a back on that. This is my favorite. I'll wait till last. This is from a deodorant thing cap. But can you see the delicious glitters in there? I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but I might, I'll probably paint the back and use it in a doll. And then I have these I did. Come here. They're a little sticky still. And that's just a plain one with just a little bit of glitter. I don't know what I want to do with it yet, but I will uh, play around with that. This has tape on the back because I used uh, duct tape, which I don't know if you guys can see the 
Can you see the, yeah, right there. You can see the texture of the duct tape on the back, but look how pretty. And it's all the way sealed. I had the glass. Uh, it's from jewelry that I had bought. It was on clearance. I saw this glass and I'm like, oh, I gotta get it. And so I was like, oh, cool. So I put it on a piece of duct tape and poured the resin in and it's one of my favorites. And then I did it the same on here, on this little one. This is either, it's either a piece off of the glass thing or it's a um, stitch marker. Cause I like taking my stitch markers and, you know, doing stuff with them. So I think this might be the stitch marker, but it's a little sticky on back still from the um, tape. And I gotta get that off, but I just haven't had a chance today. So I just put a little bit of glitter in there and I wanted it to be like, so it hung, like I kind of dig it underneath, maybe hung with a chain or wire or something as a necklace kind of thing. Then I was like, oh, you know what? I kind of dig it. If it's sat, it's just not going to sit how I want it, which I mean, I can fix it, but I kind of dig it in the middle, but then it takes away from this. So I don't know. And then this is my favorite. I'm going to paint the back. You see all those skulls in there? I've been playing with resin. You guys saw a couple weeks ago, I showed you uh, what I had done. And so I just keep, I keep playing, but I dig this so much. I think this would be so cool as a pendant. I just don't know what back, what I'm going to paint it in the back. I think a metallic, maybe a metallic or even a glittery um, paint. Uh, I'm just going to paint it. No big deal. But yeah, I'm really digging it. I even like this side, I think, but I like the skull side. So yeah, so those are things that I've been playing with and working on. Maybe I'll leave these out so I can play a little bit more. Yeah, so I don't know. So we have this, we have that, we have everything. Glitter everywhere. And you can top coat this um, if you have like a spray or something, uh, if you're worried about the glitter coming off. You can even kind of get a uh, Q-tip with some Mod Podge or glue or whatever and just kind of tap around if you want. And that would be, you know, that would help it as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys do it. It's a lot of fun and, uh, you know, a lot of fun just to play. You have funny eyes. You know, we used to have those little eyes. I know I have them somewhere. You can put them on the cats, you know, just have fun. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battles somebody else is fighting progress not perfection we are just playing it's not a big deal and enjoy it and i love you guys and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys